Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I'm a, a happy soul, Mormon. Fifty years in the cult with a resignation. God, I got my brain and my ass and my money back. Now, let me tell you something. I have figured out how to get my money back from the Mormon church. Now, I'm, I'm just suggesting this. I go to 190 countries in the world. Most of you are never going to see your money again. Okay, here we go. DI, that's number one, okay? I got two chandeliers. They're fabulous chandeliers in the house. And uh, $15 each. <laughs> They're five, six hundred dollar chandeliers, okay? I'm sitting in a leather chair. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if you can see my chair. God dang. This is bad. Yes, you can. Look at <laughs> Leather chair. Ten bucks. <laughs> Ten bucks. I've got one, two, three. I've got four recliners. Fifteen dollars each. <laughs> I'm Mormon. Tiny money's coming back, folks. I've got clocks. I've got a clock downstairs that's fabulous. Now, you know I buy a lot of clocks at DI, and you have to because they don't work. But I've got four or five that work, and I've got one that has the little glass top over it, and the little thing spins inside one way, and then it spins back the other way. Hey, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I've got desk. Uh, I'm looking out. i got a TV. I got a bar, you know, a, uh, a bar, a wine rack <laughs> from DI. I've got a beautiful uh, gold uh, half-inch uh, glass table, ten bucks. Uh, let's see what else I have out there. Um, ceiling fans. I've got three ceiling fans, five dollars each. <laughs> oh, the desk I'm on, ten bucks. Ten bu and the desk out there. Ten bucks on the on the patio here in uh, Australia. Um, I've got um, oh God, let me oh an aquarium, three bucks, <laughs> three bucks for the aquarium. I'm wearing a shirt, two bucks. Now I'm gonna demonstrate. You can get fat man clothes. Look at this shirt. I I can stand up on the chair, but it goes to my knees. Getting my money back. Getting my money back. Oh, Lord. Oh, this mirror. This beautiful mirror that you see here and headboard <laughs> that I mounted on the wall. Uh, Desert Industries, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a table, a two person table. 10 bucks. <laughs> I've got, oh, I've got in my um, room two waterfalls. $5 each. Two waterfalls. And flowers for my jungle everywhere. <laughs> Five, ten bucks. Hundreds and hundreds of flowers. Five or ten bucks. Uh, I've got a beautiful low, uh, like, a, um, what do you call those? Uh, not a lazy boy. A, a table under the mirror in uh, the uh, the bedroom, the main, main bedroom. And then um, I've got out here two green lamps. And, uh, you know, I could go on. But you're getting the point. Now. I found a new way to get my damn tithing money back. All right, now you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe it, but it's true. And I would bring uh, my credit card out uh, and show it to you. But the damn Mormons will zero in on the numbers or the numbers on the back. And they'll screw me because they know I'm screwing them. But here's the trick, folks. I did not know that the Mormons had their own money system. Now, Joseph Smith started this in Kirtland. He printed the Kirtland fund money and then had to ride on a horse to get out of town because the people hated him because he robbed them of their real money. Now, you've heard of Zion's Bank, okay? Zion's Bank was the original bank of the Mormon church, but they decided they wanted to sell that, I don't know, maybe eight years ago, and they did. But the Mormon church keeps all their money in Zion's Bank. And when they opened a new one down in Provo, oh God, it was a year ago, Monson went down and dedicated it. <laughs> Why is he dedicating another 
bank that they don't own? I don't know. But the Mormons have Zion's Bank. So if you walk in there and you have garments on and you have your temple recommend stamped to your damn forehead, they'll, they'll approve you for anything. But if you don't, they approve you for nothing. <laughs> now, I got around it. I, the Bard got around it. Sir David the Bard. I went in to Deseret first credit union. Now, I don't go into Mormon places because I'm always thrown out. <laughs> and I love it. But I went in there, and you know me, I can behave for about 15 minutes. <laughs> After that, you're on your own. <laughs> and the police are usually called, and I'm running out of there before they show up. Anyway, I talked to a very, very nice manager. Now, I like this guy. I'm not going to name him because the church will excommunicate his ass because he gave Sir David the Bard <laughs> a credit card. I couldn't get a credit card if Jesus showed up and co-signed any way. I told him, I said, uh, you know, can I get, uh, you know, any services at this uh, credit union? He said, well, have you ever, are you a member of the Mormon church? I said, what the hell does that have to do with borrowing money? He says, everything here. I go, oh, God. Yeah, I, I was a Mormon. What do you mean, was? I said, well, you know, 50 years I was one, but I haven't been one for the last 15 or whatever. I resigned. <laughs> that went over like a turd in the punch bowl <laughs> at a Mormon credit union. And I, you know, he said, well, I feel sorry for you. And I said, well, Pele ail you. <laughs> Health in the navel, marrow in your bones, strength in your loins and in your sinews, power in the priesthood be upon you and your posterity. It should be me and my posterity, but I'm blessing you uh, through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. He said, well, that's better. That's better. He says, are you married? I go, yeah, <laughs> right now I am. <laughs> that, that's a day-to-day -day proposition. He says, is your wife a member? I go, hell yeah, she's a return missionary. You're in. You're in. I go, God, I love it. This time I really benefited by having a Mormon wife. So I said to him, um, you know, we're, we're looking to refinance our new truck. What uh, interest rate? Now, I've been everywhere. I've been to banks, commercial banks, and I've been to like seven credit unions. And the lowest I found, and, you know, you're in different countries and different parts of the world. I found uh, the lowest one was like um, 3.99. And that's if you had a FICA over 750. <laughs> well, I'd have to be looking for a FICA <laughs> up the ladder to find 750. Uh, so anyway, he says, well, uh, our interest rate is 3.64. Right, holy crap, is Jesus donating here? No. I said, well, good. He's never donated in my life either. I said, how much of a FICA score do you have to have for that credit card? He goes, um, six, uh, six, I forget, 660 or 680. Now, he's talking my my numbers. <laughs> so, I said, well, is there a better rate over 660? He says, no, everybody gets the same rate over 660. So, I said, if I had 840, it wouldn't matter. No, it wouldn't matter. I said, okay. <laughs> so, every Mormon who, who can't pay their bills and has been bankrupt can go into Deseret first and get a credit card and get a, uh, a uh, loan. Now, that's funny in and of itself. Maybe not to you Mormons because your secret is out. You can get cheap money from Deseret first. And the guy was super. He was just, and I told him, I said, I'm an atheist. My standards are higher than yours. And he just smiled and he just kept writing. <laughs> so I thought I was going to be thrown out at that point. But no, no, they, they accepted me. So maybe Monson wrote me a letter of recommendation. Well, having my two naked 14-year-old that I bought over at Walmart with bows on their hair uh, sitting in the chair beside me, it might have helped. I don't know. It was the Joseph Smith syndrome, and he recognized that. So, I get the Deseret card. 
and it says on it, you know, Sir David the Bard. <laughs> I never lie to you guys. It doesn't say that, but it does in some ways. So, now here's the trick. Here's the trick. If you buy something with a credit card and you present a Deseret First credit card or debit, whatever, what are the people in the Mormon church notified of? You have connections with the Mormon church. Your wife's a return missionary or you're in the Elders Forum presidency and you're a good person. It's like a damn temple recommend uh, in Utah. Now, when I moved out of Utah down here to Australia, it's not quite as popular. Kangaroo City, there's only two Mormons in. <laughs> and uh, there are two kangaroos that are married, both males, and they're watching the Supreme Court this week here in the United States. But anyway, secret combinations. Secret. You hand over that Deseret First card, bang! They know it's like a temple recommend. They know you have connections to the Mormon church. And they are obligated under their cult to accommodate you. I like that. I was going to paste that sucker on my forehead and walk around. <laughs> oh, God. I have no friends, but I'm waiting for the closing on a house. So let me just, just wait just a second. Hello. Hello? Oh, oh, President Monson, you're watching my video? <laughs> you're, you're going to take me out of the Deseret first? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> well, you know, I just think it's a joke. I think it's a joke. I think it's a secret way for you Mormons to know each other. If you can't see his garment, uh, then you take a look at his credit card and you give him a discount at your store. <laughs> now, what's happening, President or, or Elder Monson, is basically, I'm getting my money back. <laughs> You're saving me $400 a month on my new car, you bastard. <laughs> and I know you get a six-figure income, but 400 a month is $5,000 a year. Um, I'm going to hang up on you because i got more important things to do. Have Joseph Smith call me, will you? Anyway, so he's saving me, the Deseret uh, uh, Credit Union, saving me $400 a month on a payment on my new car. That's 5000 a year. In 10 years, <laughs> that's $50,000 the Mormon have given me back of my money. <laughs> so, has Sir David the Bard outsmarted the Mormons? Yes, he has. Are they watching this and picking the damn phone up and calling the pres president of Deseret? Screw them! My wife's a return missionary, and it's a joint account. They can't knock me off. They can't knock me off legally. Here in Utah, they can do whatever they want. You know, if you sue them, you're going to lose your ass. There's no justice system here. But for the first few minutes of my video here, uh, for 18 minutes or whatever, I'm a happy dude. Sir David the Bard carries that card around town, and everywhere I present it, they bow their head and say yes. And when I shake their hand, they give me the sign of the nail or the patriarchal grip and true sign of the nail. <laughs> the Bard's getting his money back, folks. The Bard knows. Thanks.